Hello there, it is DJ Jogba, husband to a beautiful wife, proud dad to three wonderful kids, and a UN Goodwill ambassador, Chelsea legend, tireless charity campaigner, and a f***ing beast in front of goal. Tra la 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 la. <clears throat> anyway, this is my draw my life. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed living it. I was born in Abidjan in the Côte d'Ivoire on the 11th of March 1978. But when I was five, my parents sent me to France to live with my uncle, who was a professional footballer. After three years, I returned to the Côte d'Ivoire. My mom nicknamed me Tito, after the Yugoslavian dictator. Look him up. Anyway, I began playing football more seriously, and in 1991, my parents took me back to France. I joined semi-pro outfit Le Valois, but I didn't impress the coach, Jacques Longpa. Don't worry, Jax, everyone makes mistakes. With a career in football looking unlikely, I started to study accounting at college, where I signed for League 2 outfit Le Mans. Despite struggling with injuries, I did enough to be signed by League 1 team Gunyap, joined my friend Florian Maluda. A better spell in the 01 02 season, so we moved to Marseille. The cathedral in Marseille has my shirt friend in the Basilica. 19 goals and a player of the year award alerted the major European clubs, and after just one season, I moved to Chelsea. You know, I could have signed Drogba and taken him to Arsenal. Oh, bore off, Arsene. Anyway, I did move to England to the greatest league in the world, the Premier League. Ahem. Anyway, I moved to Chelsea under Jose Mourinho for 24 million in 2004. It took me three games to score against Palace, but then I was off and we won back-to-back -back league titles. It was in 06-07 that things really took off for me. I scored 30 goals and won the Golden Boot. By the end of the year, Jose left, and I didn't mind admitting I cried. I told the press I wanted to leave Chelsea. Plenty of clubs were interested. That's probably my biggest regret. I felt that like I let down the fans. So I made it up to them the best way, by scoring bucket loads of goals. Which allowed me to win the Champions League. JT, you know I love you, but come on. I scored a winning penalty beating Bayern in the final. That was my last kick for Chelsea, and I moved to China. But you know what, Chelsea is always in my heart, so I came back for a brief spell. With a career record of scoring 10 goals in 10 finals, winning 10 trophies at a club level, people often refer to me as the ultimate big game player. That's me riding the elephant in the picture. An elephant is big game. Get it? Oh well, luckily I've never needed. I've been named African Footballer of the Year twice, and I'm super proud of being an Ivorian. Even after I retired from international duty, I remain the biggest fan. Check out my reaction video to the Ivorians winning the ACN last Christmas. That's why I've worked so hard for the well-being of people there. I built hospitals, created a charitable foundation, and even helped end the civil war in 2006. My tireless work from charity led to Time Magazine calling me one of the most influential people in the world. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the top 10 moments that made Chelsea. I will. Hopefully the 13 goals against Arsenal will make it as well.